Hello friends, uh, welcome to Cloudfy. In today's sessions, I am uh, going to discuss how to install MongoDB in Amazon EC2. Yeah, um, here are the uh, two installation procedures I am uh, showing today. The, uh, the, first, uh, uh, the first procedure, I will be installing the MongoDB community editions in Amazon Linux through YUM and the second procedure uh, will install the same uh, MongoDB community editions uh, using this tarball that means uh, the downloading the actual software okay um, now the first procedure where i am going to install through yam uh, here are the uh, high level steps um, i'll be first uh, launching an ec2 instance then i'll be configuring the um, the package management systems then i'll install the mongodb packages then i'll run the mongodb uh, community editions i'll also show you the start and stop procedure of mongodb and i'll also log into the mongodb okay so the first steps this is my easy to console so i'm going to launch an instance yeah i'll be uh, going to install today this amazing linux 2 select So, review and launch, uh, everything is default here, so launch instance, okay, So I have to log into the EC2 machine. Now for the first steps, I am um, going to follow the uh, the steps from the MongoDB uh, documents itself. So I'll go to the MongoDB. Uh, this is the docs.mongodb.com. So you can see that uh, the installation procedure mentioned is that install on Amazon. So yeah, uh, I know that this is Amazon 2 already know because but you can check the versions. Yeah, it is Amazon Linux. To do that, um, uh, here you can see that it, since I have uh, launched an Amazon Linux 2, so I'll be following that, uh, the steps for Amazon Linux 2. So at the first steps, I'm going to create uh, this, uh, configure the package management system that is YAM. So I'll be creating the repository files so uh, MongoDB can directly uh, using YAM so when I will be using the yum, it will be uh, taking this uh, repository file. So I am copying the repository file directly from here. Here you can see that you know uh, uh, I am installing the current versions that is the latest version 4.2 okay now uh, I can do the installation first now the yum installation is very straightforward when you are going to install this you know uh, mongodb uh, dash org so you are actually installation installing everything if you are a little bit choosy you can uh, you can you know choose the actual packages like you know uh, mongodb or org428 or mongodb org server mongodb shell since um, you know i want kind of straightforward and you know easy so i am choosing this um, the entire steps Okay. 
So you can see here it's actually uh, installing five steps like you know um, MongoDB ORG, MongoDB server, shell tools and all the other steps. So I have taken the entire steps here. So if I go back. Now uh, since I am installing this uh, MongoDB through YAM, uh, it's quite straightforward and it is uh, uh, taken the multiple things it is uh, the it's created uh, kind of a configuration file him, uh, themselves and in the configuration file you can see the lot of uh, other configurations like the data file log files so to for better understanding let me open the configurations file so you can see this is the configuration file this is uh, uh, created when you are going to install through yum so as mentioned in the document the data files file is varlib mongo and the log file is var log mongodb you can see the db path is varlib mongo and the uh, log file is var log mongodb mongo mongo d dot log and uh, the port is uh, 27017 this is the default port and the bind ip bind ip means it is kind of a uh, loopback uh, ip uh, normally it is the uh, local host and the private IP of the local host uh, so this is the default things and uh, maybe in the later we are going to change it to if you want to look back from the other locations suppose you want to uh, connect to the from the other EC2 machines you have to change this thing to the actual uh, IP people IP so we can do that we can also change the port uh, whomsoever port we want so uh, I am going to do that a little bit later at first I will proceed to the next steps so um, now there is a two way that you know uh, we can uh, start and um, stop this thing one is systemd protocol so i am going to use this system ctl things for starting and stopping mongo so i am just going to start the mongodb right now so you can see it is started now I can change the status check the status of this thing it is checking the status of the MongoDB you can see it is active and it is running and um, it's running in the uh, 27001 port now uh, to connect to the MongoDB is very simple you know since you know uh, it is running in the local host so with uh, all the default configuration so if i'll just press mongo and then enter it is already coming so i can see that what are the databases running so currently this admin configuring local nothing uh, this is the only three uh, uh, default uh, databases is running in the mongodb okay uh, now to stop these things uh, since if i'll go back thing here uh, to stop this thing is also you know there are multiple way you can stop this the first easiest way is that to use the um, system ctl command the same command we used here earlier like uh, okay and you can change the status again you can see it is uh, stop now uh, I've already shown you that you know how to connect to this uh, MongoDB using the default options so uh, if you can see that uh, um, So un until now we have what we have tried we have tried with the default option that is port 27017 and bind IP that is uh, localhost pipe, uh, private IP address. Now for a uh, loopback purpose like you know if you want to connect to this uh, from uh, any other uh, outside this VPC outside this ETC uh, EC2 instance uh, I have to change the loopback uh, um, uh, IP address and I have to put this I am going to put the uh, NS IPv4 uh, IP. Uh, here instead of uh, uh, 127.0.0.1 
so I'm copying here from and uh, I'm going to replace okay now I am going to stop I'm going to stop the mongo process okay and I am going to restart or start okay now since I have used um, uh, kind of a non default um, uh, IP address so I am going to use this uh, uh, defined option here like um, mongo then host and the host is our public DNS IP people address port I am not using because port is default okay so it's connected yes. Yes. okay so this time what the changes I did I replaced the host details the next steps what I'm gonna do I'll change the port as well so let me stop mongo process okay so here I am um, not going to change anything on the uh, configuration file but I will be starting these things as a daemon process you know using this minus minus fork options as a daemon process I am going to start it. So if I will go Okay, you can see the uh, this is the command I am going to start. The starting is that since I will be using a port, uh, non default port 12345, and uh, bind IP, um, this is the IP address of the uh, IPv4 DNS address, and uh, I have to provide also the DB path. DB path, you know, that varlib, uh, varlib mongo, I am providing the DB path, and the log path is varlib mongodb. And the fork is fork is, is a daemon. If I'll uh, give this fork, it will be starting in the daemon process in the back end. And if I don't give the fork, it will start in the front end. So I want this is starting in the back end. So let me start the Mongo. So it said it is successfully started. Now when I'm logging. When I am logging now, I have what I have to provide. I have to give uh, host since this is a non default and uh, port. Port is my newest port is 12345. Yeah, you can see that I can able to logging using the non default uh, host name as well as port so uh, guys this process is uh, very important so i'll just try to reiterate once at the beginning when i'll uh, install through the yam uh, everything is configured just i have uh, started the uh, mongodb process then i'll uh, log into the mongo without any options because it's taken this uh, default things from the etc.mongo.mongod dot con file thereafter since you know the problem with this um, uh, 127.001 that is lo local host uh, private IP that I cannot log in from outside I want to log in from outside so that I'll try to change these things I thought of changing this thing to my public DNS IP people address so I change it uh, change in the configurations files and I'll restart the uh, MongoDB services and I'll uh, logging with this minus minus host options and the third steps I'll again stop this thing this time I am going to use a non default port it can be any port um, in your local EC2 machine so I have used a non default port called 12345 and um, 
I am going to start this thing. So when I am starting as a Mongo process, Mongo D process, I have to provide the DB path mandatory, and I am also starting as a backend as a fork process is a starting as a daemon process. So minus minus fork. And thereafter, when I'm going to logging, uh, I have to uh, provide this both the host and the port name in the Mongo. So that concludes the uh, first way of uh, first way of logging, uh, first way of connecting, installing, and connecting. This in the, thereafter, in the next phase, I am uh, going to use this tarball way to install the Mongo, and uh, I'll uh, do the similar steps to uh, uh, log into the database. Okay, um, now uh, I'm going to discuss about the uh, second way of installing. Um, this step is a uh, little bit different. The different is that here I'm not going to use this yum uh, utility for installations. Instead, we are going to uh, download the software from MongoDB site and we are going to install it. Rest of the, uh, the right start and stop and the non-default configurations as already discussed, but I'm going to show you again. So let's proceed. Well, uh, my Amazon uh, Linux machine is now uh, launched. So I'm going to follow the same uh, MongoDB document here. So I'm, I'm already, uh, let me uh, check the Linux distributions, though it is Amazon Linux too, but let me verify it again. Yep. The next steps uh, there is a prefix uh, for uh, MongoDB community editions. I know that this has already been met, but let me verify it again. Yes, it's met. The next step is I will have to download the tarball. So you have to go to the downloader sections and you have to just copy the link. So I am going to uh, install it through the wget. So install here. Okay, now going to extract it. The next steps, um, that is a uh, important but optional steps, uh, but I am going to do that because this will, uh, when I am going to uh, uh, launch, uh, initiate this Mongo, uh, MongoD command, so it will be in my path. So I will copy to the user bin, the The next step is the run MongoDB community editions. Uh, um, there is a distinct difference uh, with the previous YAM installations and with the tarball installation is that we have to manually create the data files, locations and the log file locations. I'll, I'll prefer to even default that is varlog mongo and the varlog mongodb and uh, uh, the configuration file that is the etc mongod.conf which was automatically created for the YAM installation is not created here. So if you if we want we have to create it manually. So first I am going to create this data and log directories. Thereafter I have to also provide the change ownership. Um, my user is um, EC2 user. So Okay, so then uh, the next step is the run MongoDB. These steps we have already discussed in detail uh, uh, during our previous installation. So what this will do that uh, the DB path and the log path is uh, mandatory and the fork is that it will run as a daemon as a in the backend. So what it will do that it will start the MongoDB process in the default port that is 27001 and uh, local host. Local host that is mean 127.0.0.01 IP address. So we can definitely put a kind of a like a 
the previously we used the non default port and the uh, uh, private um, dns uh, public dns ip people address for the ec2 uh, machine we are going to do that first we are going to check whether it will work or not yes it's working so so if we'll do the mongo so it's working great now uh, as you've seen this uh, mongodb is already started now to stop the mongodb server the in this process is also a little bit different so we have to use the mongodb shutdown uh, mongodb shutdown command and we have to also uh, provide this db path and the log path because they are mandatory so this is started this is stopped now as i said um, now we are going to check uh, the process to uh, start the mongodb process with its uh, non default port and uh, uh, public ip port address so for that i have to use uh, port as a we can use any port 23456 and uh, bind ip the bind ip i am going to provide this uh, public dns ipv4 so what the did uh, def uh, the additional things i have i have putting the port so uh, it was previously using this port 27001 now i am giving this non default port and this uh, ipv4 um, dns ip address so start it so for logging uh, for the logging purpose uh, uh, to the non default port i cannot use this mongo because this will give me the error this will uh, try to find out this the default ip address and the port so since we are using this non default port and ip we have to pass as argument so the arguments we are going to use here The similar argument we have used you know during our previous installation so here i am giving this ipv for dns ipv for address of this ec2 machines and the port any port yeah uh, i cho choose to uh, start up uh, services in the port two three five four five six so good so we conclude the second way of installation as well so uh, I I find uh, I hope that you can get a good glimpse uh, so how we can install the MongoDB on the EC2 machine in a different ways and uh, how to connect uh, to the MongoDB and how we can use uh, how we can uh, use this non default uh, port and also the um, any kind of you know uh, for loopback address because there is a restrictions of the using this. Um, using the local whole private IP so you cannot log into the from other uh, machines if I have to log in from my desktops or my client machine or any other EC2 machine we have to put this um, this public IPv4 address so thank you thanks for watching bye